Absolutely. And just to set the context here, Qualcomm, Samsung and Google last year announced a partnership to explore mixed reality. There's been very few details uh, at, it at this point. Uh, and the market really hasn't taken off as people thought it would. The headsets aren't selling in huge uh, amounts of, of units at this point. And there have been complaints about the comfort, about the price points at this point, and also just about the uses of them at this point. So, um, as you mentioned, Meta with the Ray Bands, this is also a partnership with, with Qualcomm. Uh, the, there is exploration taking place with the three companies, Qualcomm, Samsung, and Google, around smart glasses, with the feeling that this is a much more comfortable and stylish uh, form of wearing uh, some sort of connected device, and this could be something that really uh, takes the market off. I had a chance to catch up with Cristiano Mon, uh, and he spoke what are among the first details uh, about this partnership between the three companies. Let's just listen in. We're incredibly, incredibly pleased of the success of the Meta Ray-Ban glasses, the partnership we have with Meta. Because what has really changed is Gen AI creates an inflection point that those devices are going to become significantly more useful. They're going to grow in popularity and they're going to scale. And I think next you're going to see what we're doing with uh, Samsung and with Google as well. But I think the message here is if you're wearing a glass, what you see, the AI sees. What you hear, the AI hear. So now you have the ability to have this agent, this assistant with you all the time that you can ask questions, you can ask him to take action on things that you see. And I think Gen AI, it was the ingredient that was missing for us to have this great expansion of mixed reality, augmented reality. We're incredibly excited about that. And, and just with the, you mentioned the sort of partnership with, with Meta there on the Ray-Ban glasses, just with, with Samsung and Google, what are, you, what are you ultimately aiming to achieve? Are we going to get a new product in terms of hardware? Are we going to get a new software platform? Um, what, is, what are we expecting to come out of that partnership? Yes, it's going to be, it's going to be a new product. Uh, it's going to be new experiences. But I, what I really expect to come out of this partnership, I want everyone that has a phone to go buy a companion glasses to go along with it. Fascinating. So it's, it's, it's more a, a device linked to the smartphone at this point, uh, at, at the start of this partnership with some of these AI experiences you've spoken about? That is correct. And I think you have the ability to have AI that, you know, we need to start thinking about AI a little bit different. AI is going to run on the device, it's going to run on the cloud, it's going to run some in the glass, some in the phone. But at the end of the day, there's going to be whole new experiences that now that, it, that you can have the benefit. Now they have mixed reality and augmented reality. Fascinating. So we can expect a glasses kind of form factor, not these big chunky headsets we've been seeing so far from others. <laughs> We're getting to the point that the industry will be ready to get scale. I think we need to get to the point that the glasses are going to be no different than wearing a regular glass or sunglasses, and then with that we can get scale. And I think we have the, the job that we're doing on electronics, the job that our partners uh, do, you know, building the devices, the, the job on the software, and of course, now the addition of Gen AI. So it feels like we've been speaking about smart glasses for a while. One of the interesting comments out of that interview was he said, what's changed? Generative AI. The right. reason is because how do you interact with these glasses before? It was difficult. You have to use your phone. There wasn't intuitive kind of movements. Now with generative AI and voice and the ability for generative AI to understand commands a lot more effectively, that could change the way we would begin to interact with some of these devices. And, and I thought those were, were interesting comments. He brought up the, the Meta Ray-Bans uh, as an example uh, as well. And if you just think about the three companies, Qualcomm, Google, and Samsung. Qualcomm on the chip front, Samsung on the hardware front, Qualcomm, uh, Google on the software front. That's uh, the, th the three together could bring out uh, quite an interesting product and I, what I think they'll look to do is really try to define this market uh, very quickly uh, particularly as Apple takes a slightly differing approach with the Vision Pro and the large headsets. What jumps out